Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With, guys. Welcome back. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We got more videos outputting. I'm going to try to do 32 videos today real quick, short, and precise. And these rounds of videos are going to be on the over or under on each NFL team on uh, based on a FanDuel sportsbook, uh, what they got them as. Uh, sorry I'm not wearing my hat today. I do have a Steelers hoodie on, though, repping the Pittsburgh area. Black and yellow, black and yellow um pickings the pickings like but um i usually wear hats uh just didn't wear it today but i'm still wearing uh some type of sport merch as well um and with that being said let's hop right on into the video guys like i said we're going to be doing the over and under on every nfl team this week uh and i'm right here on FanDuel. this is the nfl you got so many other things you can bet on still before the season starts guys the season starts september 7th um make sure you put on all your future bets in before then uh, we did do a video on division winners, uh, about eight divisions in the league. Uh, that's a nice parlay. You put that together, you can do that. Um, so go make sure you look at each division that we talked about and uh, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe on those as well. Uh, with that being said, let's hop right on into the win totals of every team. Where did it just go? Uh, right here. And you can do alternate win totals as well. So if you look at this video and, uh, you know, don't think, you know, a team might get more and more, or, you know, this first one is 10 wins. They got the spreads on all, I mean, the eyes on all those. Uh, but let's hop right on into the Arizona Cardinals. Over four and a half wins for the Cardinals or under four and a half wins. Uh, so essentially, that means five. Um, do you think the Cardinals will win more than, will win five games, or do you think they're going to um, lose more than that many games? Um or under, yeah, under. I'm sorry, uh, I had a brain fart. But this is the schedule right here. I'm uh, just looking at it. They had a nice preseason. Uh, they only put up 18 points max, um, and average less than that, you know. So they're gonna have to do pretty uh better than that during the season. Most teams kind of average about the 23, 25 mark. If you're averaging over 28, 30, you're definitely uh, you know, in a shoot to win more than your games. You should. But uh, with that being said, let's hop right on into week one, and their games are going like this. So week one is here, week two, week three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Um, my team is the Commanders, and I don't think they're going to uh, lose to the Arizona Cardinals. So the Cardinals are going to start out the week one, 0-1. Oh, uh, they also traded Colt McCoy, their uh, assumed starting quarterback. Uh, he has some veteran presence. They just traded for um, – Josh Dobbs, I know he played quarterback. He played for the Tennessee Titans a year ago or so. I think he was just on another team, and they traded for him. And they only and the Cardinals have a rookie quarterback. So those are the two quarterbacks, and they haven't even announced their starter. But I do think it's going to be Dobbs. Uh, he has a little bit more NFL experience, uh, but they just think that's a competitive advantage. If they go rookie, he's definitely going to get sacked multiple times. But our defense is coming to play. Our offense is coming to play. We're coming to put some points up on the Cardinals. Uh, are they going to beat the Giants? I don't think so. It's the whole NFC East right here. They got the Eagles at the end of the season, but they're going to be 0-3 versus the NFC East. Um, Cardinals, I don't think, going to win any of these games. They might have a chance versus the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, if they play hard enough, they, they're they going to start out 0-2. They're going to be like, all right, this is where we need to come out hot. But Cowboys, it depends how Dak Prescott plays. Uh, Cowboys defense is, is, is the best defense out of these three teams, though, and all of these teams are great defenses. Uh, even the 49ers is even better. Uh, so 0-4. And Bengals play uh, Joe Burrow, it depends, but I still don't think the Bengals will lose to the Cardinals as well. Um, and they went and they get those type of wins on this uh schedule, they might can win over their five, but I don't see them getting those types of wins. Uh, this is a division matchup right here versus the LA Rams. I do think <clears throat> they can take one of these games this season. The Rams might beat them in one of them, the Rams might finish around a seven, six mark, eight win mark. Um, as well as the Seahawks, but I do think the 49ers will take this division easily, hands down. Um, Seahawks should be close contention, but Rams and Cardinals going to be in the back end. Rams should be three. I think Cardinals will be last in this division. Uh, I do think they're going to start out 0-1, oh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 0-7 oh, with the Seahawks as well. 0-8 um, oh, with the Rams. Um, I don't know when Kyle Murray's going to come back. He might as well sit the whole year at this point. They 0-8. Oh, uh, no point of risking it even more. His career might go down and He's showing with the baseball at this point. You, got, you lost DeAndre Hawkins, trade Isaiah Simmons. Cardinals is doing some crazy stuff. Um, and it's just a rebuild with them as well. Uh, with the Browns, I uh, don't think they're going to beat the Browns either. 
Uh, this could be a winnable game with the Falcons. And I, I don't think so. So far, we had them Owen. Uh, I gave him this win right here with the Rams. This Falcons will be a close game. Um, but I do think Falcons will pull this out. Cardinals and Texans will be another close game. The top teams in the draft. Um, I think they can beat the Texans. If they don't, then let's give them this win to make it two wins on the year. Uh, I do think Rams will get them back uh, on the back end. Steelers, I have up in the hoodie. They're going to beat the uh, brace off the Cardinals. 49ers are going to get them again. Easy division win. Uh, the Bears and Cardinals, it's going to be a tight one. Let's say uh, it depends how the Bears are playing as well but uh, and how they are with the playoff races at that time. It's in December on the back end part of the year. Cardinals don't win this. Uh, that's about three games. Let's say they win this game, that's three games. Uh, and then they're not going to beat the Eagles um, unless they're sending their players. And then the Seahawks, they're probably going to be in playoffs contention as well. So I got three wins so far, three to four wins. I don't think they are going to go over five wins. So uh, let's mark them down as under five. Guys, uh, thank you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're going to do each team. We're going to go with the Atlanta Falcons on the next video. Um, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Uh, we're going to have more highlights, videos, news, um, highlights, challenges, uh, all the nine yards of balling with. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe again, and catch you guys on the next episode. Boom!